With polls leaning slightly Democratic in the 11th District, the Republican State Committee released this new website late in the week, calling candidate Mikey Sharrell an agent of the Phil Murphy and Bob Menendez team. Is that an offensive move or a defensive move? No, I view it very much as an offensive move. I mean, I don't think Mikey Sharrell is who she says she is. She's not the moderate that she portrayed herself to be. You know, I mean, her supporters are from that radical left wing of the Democratic Party. Um, those are the people that are filling her coffers. Those are the people with whom she marches. Those are the people that are manning her phone banks. And if she gets sent to Congress, she becomes a rubber stamp for Nancy Pelosi. It's not a new talking point for the GOP, but it's one they're counting on, especially as Cheryl continues a high-profile campaign. Just two days after former Vice President Joe Biden was on the stump, former Congresswoman Gabby Giffords and husband Mark Kelly appeared on the trail today day, giving a hearty endorsement, part of their national tour supporting gun reform and veterans running for office. Do you have the courage to fight? Stand with me. Vote, vote, vote. You got to work incredibly hard. Don't let some poll fool, fool you that might say she's ahead. These, these seats, uh, people don't give up. The other side is going to be working incredibly hard. Giffords suffered a gunshot wound to the head in 2011 while serving in Congress. Kelly's a retired astronaut and New Jersey native. Together, their organization has helped pass gun reform laws across the country and endorsed officials who support it. Well, I'm fighting hard to get into Congress and pass good legislation so we can have um, things like universal background checks, make sure domestic abusers don't have access to firearms, make sure people on the no-fly list or the terrorist watch list don't have access to firearms. Cheryl's going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Republican Assemblyman Jay Weber, who recently had sitting Vice President Mike Pence headline a fundraiser and endorsement. That may be the shot in the arm his campaign needs. As of last filing in June, Cheryl raised six times more with nearly $3 million cash on hand. People know who I am. They know my message. Uh, they're not going get, to get too caught up in the uh, proxy game and evaluate the candidates uh, on their own merits. And when they do that, they're going to see those stark differences on taxes, on the economy, on immigration, uh, on a number of issues down the line, and uh, that's why we're so uh, hopeful and optimistic about the outcome of the race. Weber said today he takes a common sense gun safety approach after coming under fire for votes in the state legislature. His party sees the accelerated campaign pace and appearances as a good sign. I think it's interesting that you have high-profile Democrats coming to New Jersey because I would think three or four months ago they would have written New Jersey off and figured it's just not a competitive place. But I'm encouraged uh, by the fact that you have Joe Biden here, you have Hillary Clinton coming. I think they realize that uh, there's a race between now and November and they need to spend some time paying attention to New Jersey. Are these the type of things that um, swing your vote when it comes to deciding on the candidate? Absolutely. I'm a Republican. I was an elected Republican for many years. But gun violence matters to me because I have young grandchildren and they're being affected by it. The question comes down to future support for either candidate and whether bringing in these power players will move the needle for voters. In Woodland Park, Brianna Venosi, NJTV News. Thank you.